Hey guys there and welcome to Reggie here, just a short theory today about Advanced Warfare. You know, could we be seeing Infected Mode returning in multiplayer? So just before we get into the video, I'd like to ask for a like, that'd be absolutely awesome, thanks guys. And also tomorrow we, we are going to be seeing the co-op mode be revealed for the first time uh, by IGN for Advanced Warfare. Now, we don't know exactly what we're going to see, I believe we are definitely going to see some achievements. We could see some of the pictures, some of the comments, some of the trailers or something like that. You know, it might even be Michael Condry just tweeting something about it, I don't know. But I would definitely, we're at least seeing the uh, achievements tomorrow which should give us some idea about the cult mode it probably won't say like the word zombie or alien or something like that but it might give us an idea as to what we're going to be seeing could be dinosaurs so stay tuned to my channel tomorrow to find out information about that but today like i said theory about infected mode now we did see an mw3 and a ghost now it was really fun it was really good for boosting kd uh, not in like a like a cheating boosting way but i just mean a little help to get back to one kd and then play afterwards and then it was really fun community game mode and it first came around in mw3 now it'd be really awesome to see it back again but will we be seeing it back i'm gonna be talking about that today so uh, stay tuned for that now if it's gonna come back we could be seeing it in either a standard playlist with the exosuit abilities and all the stuff or we could be seeing it in a new playlist which is basically a core playlist which only has in you know, the standard uh, kind of game modes i would assume that'd be tdm and uh, cap maybe capture the flag dom free for all and maybe smd stuff like that and that is just without the exosuit abilities or anything like that it's just standard tdm before advanced warfare uh, that kind of uh, style of play but in advanced warfare on the new maps with the new these kill streaks and stuff as well now we could be seeing it go into that lobby but i would be more pushed to say that it would be going to be coming out in the standard and advanced warfare players with the exosuit abilities and if that's the case you know are we going to have exosuit abilities or are we not now I, what I think is the most likely thing is that we'd all be given exosuits but maybe the infected people uh, have a, like a broken one and they try and break other people's ones um, because that way it's more fair because I think if the non-infected people only had the exosuit and not the infected people I think it would be too unfair to catch them and because you could just boot out of the way and then and then you'd be like kind of invincible I don't know uh, the other thing as well is what would they use if they're infected now I, I'm not sure about weapons for the non-infected people but I would definitely think it's a possibility because uh, if you look at the equipment there is no throwing knife like there is in MW3 or Ghost for infected but what there is is something called a spike drone which is basically it's the equivalent of a throwing knife and you throw it and I believe it follows them around for a little bit and then it like returns on your command so that's really cool and uh, you kind of don't have to pick it up you can just throw it though make it kill them and then come back to you and then they're infected I don't know and uh, that would be I can I can imagine that definitely happening and I think that'd be a lot more fun because you have to throw something and it like it, it works a bit differently to just stand and throw no so I think that'd be awesome and I think that's what we could be seeing but I don't know let me guys know what you think down below that'd be awesome and maybe we get some new equipment as well maybe not just some flashbangs some some of the new equipments like um I don't know, some kind of stun grenade or tracking drone or anything like that, you know, it'd be cool stuff like that. Uh, cool to see how the new mechanics would work in, in Advanced Warfare's Infected Mode if it is going to come out and back. And, um, like, could we be able to, like, stay stealthy or, like, could we... Because what would be awesome if we actually chose our own per perks for Advanced Warfare? I think that'd be... For our Infected, sorry, I mean, I think that'd be absolutely awesome as well. Just a bit more customization, and I, I don't know, we'll see, you know, but, uh, anyway, we could see that. And then, um, it really stands to me that we could be seeing Infected because Sledgehammer Games listen to the community, they like doing what people want, and all also, on one of the trailers, we heard that on day one, we're going to be getting 11 game modes, and then after that, it's going to be more. So what I think is either they're going to have get more game modes in DLC or updates, and I think it'll probably be in actually um, the standard playlist on day one. So what I think is that we're going to be getting infected on day one with minimal playlists, minimal we weapons and loadouts, and then further on throughout the year, we're going to be getting more that they update. Uh, that, that's what I expect to see. Uh, but let me guys know what you think down below. Like I said, co-op mode information tomorrow, we're going to be getting the achievements, and then maybe some other things as well. So stay tuned, guys, to my channel for all of that and more thanks guys that's been rage gamer i'll see you guys on my next video